who of you want to do things right? To keep up with keeping your lives tight. Tight as in being right with the truth of true insight. Who of you want to do things right? Who of you want to truly succeed in attaining all and that which is your need? To be heard by the real answerer of all deeds, the true hero of all whom pleads. Who of you really want to bow down to the true king of kings commanding the crown? To worship the one that ever rules alone, commanding everything of creation from the seat of its throne. Good evening and welcome to an I Have Moment, the calm before the storm. I'm your host, Mr. Dries Taha, and with me always, you find group of people here, Brother Fat Kill Abdul Aziz, Lord Holy Apostle Dean, and Holy Queen Mother Ragged Shalane, and he's his peace and other blessings with the body of one's presence. As you can hear, you get an audience in the background, and we wish you were here watching the program, man. He's his peace and other blessings with the your presence as well. We will continue on in one of our conversations we left from the previous program concerning some of the symbolic language of terms that they utilize, like I mentioned about the star of David Silva Solomon, the Holy Prophet is about to elaborate on a greater degree about that symbol, that symbol is here longer than what they, the Jews have gravitated to or utilized that as part of their religion or their way of life today as that star of David Silva Solomon, which in, um, represents the two inverted and upright pyramids, which have become intertwined, which is really a ten-pointed star, but with four points hitting and six manifests on the outside representing uh, either coming down to the worlds of man and man being raised up into the, in, uh, made intertwined and unified in the oneness of the Lord Most High. With that, you know, many things that Ezer is trying, what is doing today is breaking those seals again of the ignorance, the foolishness, or the misnomers or the misnames given to different things that have been presented to you in the religions today. With that being said, um, well, I don't think I need to elaborate since you told me. Said Lord Holy Apostle is going to elaborate on it, and then he went describe it. Even the four inside. <laughs> so what is it that I need to elaborate on? Uh, that's another study. That's a whole study. Yeah. But the thing about it is that that star was here before David. It represents. Right. It represented the union uh, of Allah, of the Creator, of El. The highest point represents, in, in one representation, because there's a number of representations right. for that. You know, you talk about wisdom, knowledge, um, understanding. Um, strength and power. Yeah. You know, with man going back to the ancient teachings, you know, right. man having wisdom and power. I mean, I mean, knowledge and power, right. and women having wisdom and strength, mm. and them coming together in marriage, bringing about an understanding at the highest point. Right. You know, that's one way of seeing that that uh, in, in, that that upright pyramid. And that same manifestation coming down right. from the heavens of the reflection of their being of from the high, right. you know. And then the other thing is is um, um, it, the, it representing the earthly plane right. and the path of light, life all going to the one point, the highest pinnacle, right. to reach the highest aspect of each man and woman on this earth. Mm -hmm. And then, again, the reflection of it coming from the heavens where that right. that that lowest point coming down is a pinnacle or right. point right yes. and it merges with the low to the high and creates the six point star which represents the union of a man or a woman and in, with enlightenment of the right. lord coming into the union of the lord itself and that's what the six point star um so called six point star right. Representing nobody ever talks about the four hidden sides, right? You know, yeah. um, like I said, that's another study. another study. But that there was in the in the Hindu religion, and that came sure. thousands of years before um, David ever walked this, the planet Earth, right. as well as the swastika. swastika. Yeah, the swastika was right. not an evil sign; it's a good sign. But they have made it evil because Hitler took right. the science of it, right. turned it inside out, right. 
turned the swastika around to the negative side and represented that as his symbol. And now the Jews, even though they know that the swastika represented something good, and especially the Hindus who, right. who have the ancient teachings, they know it represented something good. It represented the positive force of nature going around in, in life, just like um, the yin and the yang. Right. The swastika is nothing but another symbol of the yin and the yang. Right. You know. Um, but they won't, they won't give that education because they're so fearful of the people who protects the, um, the, 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 the Jews right. in this society and around the world that they won't, they won't even elaborate on those things. They'll take their ancient religion and put it under cover just so that they could, you know, um, compromise and have some, you know, some gains right. from the gym, you know, right. it is material worth. Riches. The material riches. Which puts um, uh, when when they get the people of the world that's totally go for evil, like at the time Hitler did, he'll take a symbol, a symbol of righteousness, and him and his people, and they'll use it uh, to pervert and uh, uh, even gain power because those symbols represent power, just like the Lord, the, the words of the Lord. The, not, you know. You I know what's really ironic? Hitler, Hitler, Hitler. Hitler was a Jew. He was a Jew, right? Hitler was a Jew that turned against his own people. He, he claimed to be an Aryan, wanted to be an Aryan, right. Caucasian, right. and said they were the pure bread. He had black hair. Right. And all his followers who supposedly the purest right. had the gold right. or the white hair. Right. Right. The blinds, super blinds, you know. Right. And they running around the day in these, in these cults talking about they hate Jews and they hate Hitler. He was a Jew. Right. So well, how much do they hate Jews? They just back with they hate life. They're the servants of the devil that just hate humanity. Right. You know? So they say kill the Jews and the niggers or the Negroes or whatever they want to call the dark skinned people of America. Right. Well, they want to kill all the black people in all the world. You know, and then they want to kill all the Jews, okay. Who was the greatest troublemakers in the world in the history of man that come down out of the Caucasus Mountains and spread their trouble all around the world? Right. That's not to say that the devil ain't inside the blackest of people, which it is, because some of the meanest and dirtiest and, and evilest of people were black people. And for instance, look at Pharaoh, the Pharaoh that stood over Moses. Not all of them, because some of the pharaohs were prophets. Because right. that's what pharaoh means, Pahala'ah. Yeah. The prophets of, of, of Ah. The mm -hmm. prophets of the light of Ah. Those that guide. I mean, that's what it was. But we lose meanings of languages right. yeah. through time. Right. Right. You know, right. and, um, but, hey. Yeah. And since we're getting into a little bit of history, too. We have these people, uh, you know, what they, this, um, this, the politicians of this nation has labeled us as African American people, and we accept. First, they called us Negroes. Then they called us colored. Then now they call us African American. Whatever they call us is cool because our masters give us the name, and we say yes, master, and we go with it. But let's let's do a little history about our so-called people, who back in Africa, Africa. The, the Caucasian didn't come to Africa and then run through the woods because Africa is a is a is a Country. land that you just can't go and just go anywhere know, and run stroll, not even today you know nope. and and find use a mass group of Africans. It was the African people that we run over there trying to be like, dress like, and and and. and doing all this, you know, like speak, holding like them high. It was these same people. They Four sold fathers. us, forefathers, that sold us into slavery. Right. Okay, so we, you know, we get twisted. We let people tell us things and we just say, oh, that, this is all good. You know, just like with Obama. We, you know, and not getting deep into politics, but we got to deal with truth. And that's what we're here trying to give you, truth. How can we say he's a... African American man, or he's a black man. How can we just take him away from the woman he that gave him birth? He came from a Caucasian mother, and he was raised by Caucasian grandparents. 
Yes, his father was African, but we again have allowed this society to trick us. One drop of black make you black. That's a lie. It do not change your DNA. Your DNA is what it is. If you have, you come from a Caucasian mother and an African father, you have both DNA. One do not overpower the other and make you something on one side more than you are on the other side. And when you look at Obama, you got to look at and see what he is. He's raised in a certain mindset. He has not been a, um, he's not a product of people that was in slavery. So no, he cannot relate to you in the way that you may think he can relate to you because he has no connection with that. He was truly born an African American. One of a, a Kenyan American, a Kenyan Caucasian. See, you know, the ironic thing about that we from Africa thing is Africa got every race of people that there is in the world. Mm -hmm. Africa is a continent. Right. You go, okay, you say you're African. Morocco was in Africa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Egypt is in Africa, isn't it? Yes. yes. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Timbuktu is in Africa, isn't it? Yeah. Libya is in Africa. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. you talking about Africa, you got all these different races of people. What part of Africa did we come from? You know? And, and, and even if just like they're doing a DNA thing and they saying that this person come from that and this person come from that, uh, the, one of the good things I'm glad they straightened out with the DNA thing that they promoting is that 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 uh, Oprah Winfrey is not did not come from the Zulus and she was not a, a, a descendant of a Zulu queen. Right. They made that stipulation for her because she thought she was from a Zulu queen. But I think she, where they said she come from the Mubuku tribe. What was it? The Mubuku. Whatever. Anyway. She was not, and I'm glad because the arrogance of people, because she's a millionaire or billionaire, whatever she is, she want to believe that she had to come from royalty. Right. You know, right. when L is the one that decides who is going to be rich of the land, of material right. wealth, or rich of spirit and right. soul. It's the one that determines that. Just because you make it don't mean you have to come from Queen Anne or somebody, you know. And, um... Um, I'm just joking, people. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what the Zulus would do if, if Oprah was to come there and say she was one of their descendants of one of their queens and she got up early in the morning and didn't show up with that makeup on. <laughs> so they might get angry. One thing you're not joking. They get your nigga ass. <laughs> 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 I just want to apologize to the audience because I didn't mean for us to go you, into I said that. I didn't want to get into <laughs> politics. I get angry when you start talking about these politics. Yeah. We got this trick going, and 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 this trick is, it, it, you know, like, come on, that's beneath what we want to do here. And it wasn't you to know. take y'all into politics, it was to just take y'all to recognize that Things took Turn place that we on. we um, that we ignore. We can't ignore things that have taken place in our race. And our race is now a mixed race. That's why he's a lot this in this day. Let's now. stay off the Obama thing. Well, I, I'm off the Obama. Let's, thing. You know, I mean, it's just uh, that was just used as, as an example, so y'all can understand that you can't classify and group people. We're not. We shouldn't classify and group ourselves because we come from all different race of people. We are the new creation that Aiza Allah said that it will create in the Holy Quran. It said I will create a new people. And we are that new people. We're, we're more than just the African American. We're the African, Irish, uh, uh, Indian, uh, yeah, yeah. Asian, yeah. Italian. Right. We got everybody yeah. in us. Right. We got everybody in us. We don't look like no one people. Yeah. We look like everybody. Our spirit is like everybody. Yeah. We're the most hated people in, in, in the controver most controversial people in the world right now because the enemies of the Lord Most High knew who we were before we knew who we were, and they were determined to keep us down. There's a, there's this, this, this thing going on. I, I, I forget my expression about it, 
but it's a, wor a worldwide conspiracy right. against the, the so-called African-American people. Elijah Muhammad called it best and better than anybody when he said, we are the Asiatic black people right. because we're more Asiatic than we are African. There were not that many Africans brought over here as compared to the Asians who were the Native Americans that came from China yes. and Mongols and what have you over here and spread throughout the United States of America, Canada, Mexico, and South America. We are more of their people than we were of the Africans. The Africans were a small group that was planted in different areas. You might have more in Haiti than you have here in the United States of America. You understand? That's true. They were mostly on the So we're more of the Asiatic. That's why so many of us here in North America, in these United States of America, in the mainland of North America, that's why so many of us blacks have Native American, so-called Indian, the indigenous, indigenous people, to this land. We have that in us. And that's what Elijah had in him. He recognized it. Right. Aiza gave that to him to say to the people that we are the Asiatic black people. And nobody really questioned that so much. So in Farrakhan, I never even heard him elaborate on that or Malcolm X elaborate on that right. so much. So everybody accepted what the enemies of our people, of the right. enemies of the slaves and the Native Americans, gave to us as our religion and as a label to say that we are African Americans. We are colored. Huh? We are Negro, we are this, we are that, we are so much, so mm -hmm. on. But they have in their English di dictionaries and some of their greater forms of the English dictionaries that we are Afro-Americans. Right. Aiza call us Afro-Americans. Right. Afro-Americans. Right. They say we are Afro-Americans. There's no such thing as, as, as um, the nigger. No. And, and, and you know there is Negro because Negro in Spanish is black. It's black, right? right. It's they black. talk, and we're not all black. Right. You you know I mean. I assure you, the color black. <laughs> yeah, and, and we're not black. Right. You know I mean you got some that is black, so black they blue. <laughs> yeah. But that's just runs in our in yeah, our yeah. genes. Yeah, yeah. You know, some white people are not white. And some that's so white, so yeah. white they right. yeah right. They, they almost. One thing that Aiza Casper like tip. <laughs> One thing that Aiza does do here though, when Aiza bring forth of his message, is dealing more of truth and falsehood, or right and wrong, than of color or skin tone. See, our people have a tendency to look at people because we don't all agree the same or all think the same. When they say, "Well, you're wrong," you don't think like us. What about the thing is right or the situation is wrong? That's what. Aiza's calling us to in this hour of the day. And people get mad, you speak more in those terms of right and wrong than of skin color, black and white, or blue, whatever color. People deal with more of that than actually the truth of the matter of a, a situation that goes in the hand of the day. Mm -hmm. And now people either look at that. When the Lord is speaking with them, you know, the Lord says, it's not respect, it respect of colors that's going to the Bible. Allah created man and tribe and nation that you may know one another, not despise one another. He said that in the Quran. So people today can't look at numbers of people of color and say, okay, well, these people are right. When they can be the workers, Allah said to us now that the devil exists in every creation. Everybody have a devil in them. So you could be black, white, blue, or brown and be a doer of evil. That's the difference in what Allah means by the devil that people mm -hmm. they don't even understand. They call everybody, this is one big devil, Satan. No. I mean, listen, they talk about Obama, like she brought up Obama, mm -hmm. and they want to uh, rape Obama with Malcolm X and Martin Luther King, King right. and what have you, and, and we don't know who this man is. We don't right. know this man inside. We don't know the Lord's plans for this man. You know, and black folks, so-called black folks, want to make like he's their savior. Yeah. He can't go and buck the system of the United no. States government. Mm -hmm. You know, Kennedy couldn't buck, buck it. it. He got bucked, though. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, you got to remember, they, they put Abraham Lincoln up to us as the greatest president of all time for black folks. And Abraham Lincoln wanted us kicked off the continent. And question two. It was the greatest black well, president. Well, I heard he was a, a black president. That's what I heard. You know, we don't know who his father is, but I don't know. Right. I, I don't like to get into that too right. much, but I'm telling you, the law, the, the politicians and the, and the people of religious leaders have been the greatest enemies of yes. the truth. The yes. truth is L itself. Right. They've been the greatest enemies of the righteous. 
Right. They've been the greatest through the history of time. Right. And all these religious people have ran and took their Bibles and their religions into politics, right. into the White House. Right. You understand? And they let these politicians, the greatest liars, the greatest deceit artists mm -hmm. of all times, greater lies than lawyers. You yeah. understand? They outdo lawyers. They got lawyers shaking in their boots because they're the greatest thugs. You know, let them master them in their religion and, and try to make like it is from the Lord L itself that of the good. When it is not, the Lord is gathering us up. It told, it, it, it commanded me to call out to the people mm -hmm. to be a gatherer. But it is gathering the evil ones up as well. This way of life is going to be destroyed. Right. We're going down in this capitalistic society already as a sign from the Lord. Right. We may regroup capitalistically, but this system is going down one way or the other. And it's not just this system, it's the world system. The Lord is angry and it says it's going to do what it's going to do and it has started doing what it promised it would do. And, and, and if you don't believe me, you answer this question. Why is it that the United States government and other, every government, law, you know, uh, imperial government of the world got their scientists looking up into the skies, into the heavens, right. for that asteroid that's been promised to hit this right. planet, in, in, as they say, in 2012, right. following the Mayans' prophecy? Right. And why is it that they believe that so much? So, mm -hmm. huh? And right. you think about this here. Is not spoken of in Revelation, is it? Mm -mm. But it is spoken of in the Holy Quran. Yes, it is. About this object hitting earth. Yeah. You, you understand? Mm -hmm. So they believe it. And they're looking for it. Seeing if they can deter it. Yeah. We, the Lord said no matter what hit this planet, it's going to preserve life on this planet. Right. Even if it take man and evolve us into another creation. When we leave this flesh body, our minds are still alive. Right. It can do whatever it want to do to us. It can bring you back as a dog or a cat and keep you in the mindset of you being a human being and you will not be able to tell anybody. Mm -hmm. Suffer throughout your life and that in the body of that animal, doing the things that that animal is doing, but having some recognition of what you once was and suffering in that, that light, if that's what it wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Because nothing's impossible for it. You know? Yeah. That's a teaching in reincarnation. One of the yeah, yeah. Like teachings teaching you know, with right. suffering, you know, coming yeah. back yeah. right. as a uh, so called sure. lesser being, you know. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Allah said in the Holy Quran about it spoke about the the apes being despised. Right. You know, men being men Term. being despised as apes. Right. You understand? And people said, What is that? What is that? The Lord said to me, people want to be so fast to say that we come from apes, okay? But the Lord said, apes, the Lord said there's a certain ape-like man that comes from us. Mm -hmm. huh? And they run around here looking for Sasquatch. Because they know that, that the Lord said men wasn't around, was, is not aware about the time period when man took a back step. Right. If you yourself go into the jungle and start acting like the animals and the beasts and climbing yeah. the trees in a thousand years, what do you think your children going to look like? Mm. Do you think they're going to have the same hands and arms and legs? And No. They're going to adapt to that condition, right. that right. situation. Right. And if they have a mind that's somewhat like a human, people say, this is a strange creature. Yeah. He must be the missing link. They alluded to that with the Tarzan movies and all that. Yeah. Like he was raised by the animal. He became yeah. like them. And they know. They know, yeah. They know. And they say he mastered the jungle. He mastered yeah. the trees and what have you. That's right. You know? But, uh, you know, I mean, it's some things to think about because the Lord don't put nothing in his books right. just for the sake of it being there. There's something behind it. There's some meaning. There's some right. truth to it. You know, yeah. but in the divine book of recitation, it said man took a back step. It gave man a back step. Those who were disobedient to it, right. it gave them what they asked for. You got to be careful about what you ask the Lord for. They wanted to be free of, of, of humanity, free of civilization, and the Lord gave it to them. And they became like the apes.
I even mentioned that again in the Divine Book, as well as the other books, when it's talking about that mountain or that, that barrier that kept building up in the Caucasus Mountain became an animal. Mm -hmm. became a, then they integrated and mixed in with the Arab, came down to man, mm -hmm. kind of integrated them into men. Mm -hmm. We had the Aryan people today, but those Caucasus, those Caucasus and Caucasus Mountain, with those them cavemen that they speak they about, know. they know them people. Like, Ask Geico. The guy go, oh yeah, the first right. The caveman died. Yeah, they know. <laughs> yeah. True though. It's true. That is true though. And, uh, One thing I used to express to us here through this message, man, and watch other than the foolish that you see on television today, man, but watch the Discovery Channels, the History Channel. They used to do all those programs that they know our people will not generally watch normally. Right. We watched everything that right. we watch all the other right. shows. All the distraction shows. Yeah. The striking show. But this is the time when they said, well, I'm breaking themselves again in this hour of the day for you to investigate these truths that are bring forth that we speak about here on this program that you can look into it and ask the Lord to give you of his understanding and because you come to realization that the hour is here at hand and that thing that speaks about his holy books is true. You know, they got so crazy now, as a brother I heard speaking one day, talking about that the everything that's in the holy books has all been made up. I'm like, wow, they have gone so far to mm -hmm. dismiss the prophets themselves. Well, look at what yeah. the homosexuals said. They want to point out that prophets saying all these different prophets okay. were gay. Right. right. Come on. Right. You know, yeah. Jesus, what they say, Jesus loved, loved John. John and, and they say, well, love is sexing, and yes, oh, yeah. man. Yeah. You know, man can say anything, right. but see, that's one of the reasons the Lord keep bringing the truth back over right. and over and over and over again. Yeah. And like what we said in the earlier show, Muhammad didn't steal from anyone right. to put forth the book right. of the Holy Quran. Right. Muhammad said what Gabriel gave him to say. And then they wrote what Muhammad said, right. and it was relative to what had already been sent here as a pure truth from the Lord from the very beginning of time for man. And that word is going to keep on coming back in all different languages at all different times. And the point of holiness on the earth, which the Lord will make as a center of earth, right. or center of holiness, like a navel on the stomach, it will be moved. Right. Just like it was moved from Shiloh and the Ganges and... And, and Jerusalem, it's been, it's been moved from Mecca. And right. people don't want to believe that right now. Right. But when they see it go down, and, and if they really, you know, get into what's been happening over there over the past 30 years yeah. or so, they can, they can relate. Right. Right. You know, I mean, you can't, you can't mix evil with, with good and say it's all good. <laughs> if all those things is going down over there, racism and, right. and right. prejudice... And, and and thievery and to slavery, oh, yeah. stealing human the beings, beings kidnapping them and and the how and the tents burning. Allah got control of them fires. Why would it let those things happen over there? Building collapses, you know, bomb threats and everything, right in the holy city. Because the Lord is taking its its grace away and its protection away and and, and bringing it to this new point and this new people that the world of religious people don't want to believe. Definitely. You know? But they're going to be forced to believe it one way or the other in this life or the next. So with that being said, then, you know, any final comment before we pull up the program? Uh, Lord, uh, uh, the Holy Apostle was talking about how, uh, it just strikes me how they've taken a beautiful, balanced teaching from the uh, uh, Messenger Muhammad and turned it into a blood of religion. Okay. No, On that note, then, it's been an I have moment to call before the storm. You want to reach us by the correspondence, you reach that I had incorporated. Post Office Box 8795, North New Jersey, 07103, or via the internet at Third House, T H I R D H O U S S E, at Yahoo.com. It's been a pleasure as always, Lord Holy Apostle Dane, yes, Holy sir. Mother Rabbit Saline, Brother Frank Kidd, and the audience tuning in. Who Man, he's of peace you and blessing want to do things right? To keep up with keeping your lives tight. Tight as in being right with the truth of true insight. Who of you want to do things right? Who of you want to truly succeed?